This is Hemi. I've been following Hemi for three or four years now, I think. Hemi is getting close to having a baby. I would expect her to fall tonight if she doesn't decide to do it throughout the day today. Um, a few things that make me think that she's close to falling is her belly has dropped. The baby's all sitting down here in the bottom. He's ready, getting ready to go. He's probably got his feet starting to point up that way. Maybe has his head that way already. Not sure. But anyway, um, her flanks are very hollow. Um, so all that baby is down here. She's also built quite a good bag. She, her bag is very full, really tight. Her teeth are full. And she's got a tiny drop of wax. The wax is basically the claustrum just leaking out a tiny bit. And it really looks like candle wax on the bottom of her teeth. Um, generally, mares will wax, not always. So you, it's a, it's a good indicator, um, but you can't count on it being there every single time. Um, what a lot of people do is a milk calcium test. You can, there's a full check, full check, um, mirror check. There's several different ones that you can get, and it show, teaches you how to do that. You just get a little bit of colostrum in a tube, and you use their kit and test and see where the calcium is. The closer the mare is full to falling, the calcium's going to get higher. pH will also get higher. So it kind of gives you an idea of when to do that. If I'm going to test a mare, I do it in the evening, last thing before I go to bed, because that can rise quickly. Um, and she can get ready to fold pretty dang quick. Um, so her bag is tight. She's loose back here. She's getting kind of droopy back there. Everything's loosening up, and she's getting ready to fold. All right. Okay. Hemi's really quiet right now, but um, as she gets closer to folding, she might start pacing around, be uncomfortable. Um, and some mares will do that right before they fall. Some mares will do that for several days. So you just kind of have to keep watching them. Um, this mare, I've folded for a few years. I keep good records. I kind of know what she's going to do. She's usually very quiet until an hour or two before she goes to fall. And then she'll start pacing around here, up and down, that kind of thing, as she's trying to get that baby in position and waiting for the process to get going. Um, some mares won't do that. Some will be happily eating their hay, lay down and have a baby and go back to eating their hay. Um, everyone is an individual and they're all gonna be different. I am ready. Okay, so um, you've decided to fold your mare. Your commitment to her is to be there when she folds. How are we gonna do that? You have to watch her. You have to watch her all the time. Um, I have cameras in every single stall. Um, if I didn't, I could put a cot out beside her stall where I can watch her. You can try to check on them every 20, 30 minutes. Um, there's a chance you could miss them like that, but it's doable. Um, I like my cameras because I have, the, have them on my phone. I can see them from wherever I am. Um, I can wake up and check them. I can do whatever. Um, but in the same respect, I still can't leave. <laughs> I can't go to town for dinner. I can't do anything like that because she could lay down and fall in the time it takes me to see that she's falling and get back. And, you know, it could be too late. It only takes a minute or two um, to lose a baby if that's what's going to happen. So um, I have to pr pretty much be here. I'm, c I'm committed to staying here. Um, I use the cameras on all the stalls to watch them. I also use the full alert system. Um, it's very expensive. You're probably only going to find it in a professional facility. Um, but basically what it is is this little transmitter. It's sutured on this side of her. And there's a little string that's sutured on the other side. As she starts to fall, an amnion comes out. It comes out in kind of a bubble. It will pull the magnet out of there and set off our transmitter. You can see kind of it blinking there. Um, sets off the transmitter, which is attached to a phone line, and it calls me. So if I happen to be not watching her at that moment, I know when she's going to fall, and I will be here. 